and welcome back to Bambleton Insight. Yesterday the weather was really good in England so we headed to our local park to play some air badminton doubles and triples with four other players from the National Centre. But before we show you these clips we have already done two really informative videos on air badminton so if you haven't already make sure you check them out after this. Let's get to it. So we're going to start off by discussing air badminton doubles. Here's a couple of clips for you. Oh, good rally. We very much enjoyed playing doubles and as expected the games were a lot faster than the singles we'd previously played. We rotated less during the rallies than indoor doubles as we found it easier just to take our own sides. This was maybe because the front of the court was out and as the wind changed the direction of the shuttle, by not rotating, there were less arguments over whose shot it was. However, there were still some points where we managed to play proper doubles by following in a shot or rotating around each other. Get in, Jen. Jen, get in. Good drive. Before we show you some clips of us playing our triples match, it is important to note that our wind speed when we were playing was 7 miles an hour, which is around 11 kilometres an hour, so at the upper limit for air badminton. When me and Greg previously played, it was only 3 miles an hour, and it did make a huge difference. And also, we'd like to apologise that it is really hard to see the shuttle in these clips. We also found it really hard to see when we were playing. So let's see some of our best triples rallies. Did you notice that we were sometimes hitting the shuttle twice in a row? Neither did we when we were playing. We started with the official rules for triples, however after two sets we found it was really hard to tell if someone had been hitting it twice in a row. So we reverted back to anything goes like we usually play. The rallies did still break down a lot, even for people who play a lot of badminton like us. You do have better rallies when you're more cooperative, however we are of course playing to win. Overall it was a great laugh and we really enjoyed playing outside in the sun. There weren't too many tactics in our games, we were mainly just trying to hit the shuttle over and not make mistakes. We did find that lifting sometimes worked, however after analysing our footage earlier we found that whoever lifted first usually lost the point as it was really hard to control the lifts, especially from the fast end. Another tactic we found in triples was the court positioning. We did find that when we played the official rules there was more rotation. However, when we reverted back to anything goes, it was actually better to have two players at the back and one at the front, rather than two at the front and one at the back, as it was really hard to intercept and react at the net. As we mentioned earlier, it was very hard to see from one side when the sun was out, and it probably didn't help that we were playing in the evening with a low sun. So let's see some clips of us losing the shuttle in the sun. I can't see! I can't see! Wow, that was really good. 
<laughs> so we recommend Air Badminton for a fun game of outdoor badminton. And like with anything, the more you do it, the better you're going to get. If you want to know any more about Air Badminton, such as the rules or the shuttle and string durability, then we'll include a link in the description below to our other two videos which go into more detail about these. That's it for today's video. For all things badminton, please smash that subscribe button and we'll see you in our next video.